Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. I did ask for this. I have begged for this. I have pleaded for this. And that's the only joke we're really going to make about I didn't ask for this because I think it's a little played out. I love the Deus Ex series. I love all three of the games now. The original Deus Ex, Human Revolution, and now Mankind Divided. Because there have only been three Deus Ex games. And if you are writing in the comments to argue with me, you're wrong. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. We'll begin a new game. Um, for the sake of the let's play and to avoid... Really? Really? Thanks. Um, the I never asked for it this difficulty. Alright, I think we are going to go with a challenge, and if it ends up a little too easy, we will bump it up to Deus Ex. You can enjoy Deus Ex Mankind Divided as a standalone experience. You can relive the events of Deus Ex Hem Human Revolution, which took place two years ago by watching a 12-minute recap video. Do you want to watch the recap video now? Tell you what, folks, I am going to go ahead and watch it. Feel free to join me, or go ahead and skip ahead 12 minutes. The year was 2027. Advances in biotechnology were helping people improve their physical and mental abilities to an amazing degree. Provided, of course, they had enough money. A new breed of people was emerging, half human, half machine. And in Detroit, at least, not everyone was happy to see it. I'd just landed a job as head of security at Seraph Industries, a cutting-edge biotech firm. David Seraph himself handpicked me for the job, said he needed me to keep his people safe. My ex, Megan Reed, was one of them. A brilliant neuroscientist, Megan had found a way to make augmentation safe and affordable for everyone. All she had to do was present her research to Congress. But the night before her big meeting, my security measures failed. A team of Black Ops mercenaries stormed into Seraph headquarters, massacring everyone in sight. Three of the mercs were heavily augmented walking tanks. Their mission? Take out Megan and her team. I tried to stop them, but their leader tossed me through a plate glass wall. Last thing I heard as his bullets slammed into my brain was Megan's dying scream. I should have died with her. Only I didn't. High-end, military-grade enhancements saved my life. The best augmentation Seraph's money could buy. It took me half a year to get a feel for it. Should have taken longer. But six months into my recovery, Seraph Industries was attacked again. This time, by a radical group of pro-human purists. Violent, militant, and fanatically opposed to human augmentation, they claimed to be members of Humanity Front a non-profit organization that wanted the UN to limit biotechnology research. The thugs broke into Seraph's factory and found machinists working overtime on a top-secret military augment called the Typhoon. Seraph sent me to retrieve it, and when I did, I found one of the so-called purists next to it, wired with cerebral implants, trying to download its classified specs. Obviously, something more was going on. Yogg killed himself before I could question him. Seraph ordered me to dig deeper, so with the help of Frank Pritchard, Seraph's head of cybersecurity, I did. Turns out a second hacker had been controlling the Yogg's actions from somewhere off-site. Pritchard and I tracked his signal to a secret FEMA internment camp in Detroit. The Black Op mercenaries were there. The same mercs who'd left me for dead six months before. I figured they'd try again when they saw me. It wasn't so easy for them this time. They took out the tank named Barrett. Even got him to give me a new lead. A penthouse apartment in China. Of course, we both knew it would be a trap in the end. Hengsha Island, China. Home to a city so crowded, they had to build a second city on top of it. Trying to find clues in Hengshou wouldn't be easy. Lucky for me, I wasn't alone. Farida Malik, Seraph Industries' ace pilot, had lived in Hengshou before. A 
good person to have on your side. She knew enough about the place to get me around. Malik dropped me in the lower city, close to the penthouse Barrett had told me about. Bell Tower Associates, a private security firm under contract to the Chinese government, had agents tossing the suite when I arrived. Just not for the reason I'd been expecting. Turns out the man who lived there was a criminal hacker named Van Bruggen. The same hacker who'd been remotely controlling the AUG in Sarah's factory. Van Bruggen's panicked decision to force the man to commit suicide had been a mistake. Now his mercenary partners were gunning for him, and I needed to find him before they did. Locating Van Bruggen meant playing nice with the triads, anxious organized crime lords. They had the hacker holed up inside a low-rent capsule hotel. By the time I found him, Van Bruggen had no qualms giving up the woman who hired him. Zhao Yun Ru, president of the Tai Young Medical Corporation. According to Van Bruggen, Zhao wanted to monopolize the augmentation industry and had hired black op mercenaries to destabilize her competition. Seraph Industries was at the top of her list. To prove this, I needed to get inside TYM and grab a surveillance hologram off a server. I suspected Van Bruggen was hiding something when he told me this, but nothing could have prepared me for what I saw. Megan wasn't dead. She and her four best researchers had been kidnapped, spirited away somewhere while their kidnappers made it look like they were dead. Desperate to learn more, I confronted Zhao in her penthouse. She claimed to be a pawn in a bigger plan, and hinted at a group so powerful it controlled global interests at a whim. Then she slipped into a panic room and hit the alarm, forcing me to make a very quick exit. I figured Zhao was lying, but part of her confession made sense. David Seraph had been worried about his people. So worried, he'd required all of them to have subdermal locator devices surgically implanted. The GPLs would have been broadcasting the day of the attack. Zhao said a single call to Picus, the world's leader in global 24-hour satellite news, had turned those signals off. I needed to fly to Picus headquarters in Montreal if I wanted to learn more. Eliza Kassan, Picus Communications' first lady of news. Malik thought I was reaching when I told her Eliza was involved in this. The world's most famous news anchor, working with a mercenary hit squad. But when I confronted Cassan in her office, she freely admitted to jamming Detroit satellites the night Megan's team had been taken. Since she's just been following her commands, I suspected she wanted to say more. But Black Op mercenaries showed up looking to shut us both down. And just like that, the Eliza I'd been talking to disappeared. The mercs were led by an augmented killer I crossed paths with twice before, Fedorova, a woman who'd made silence her best friend. She waited for me to track Eliza's transmission to a secret server room underneath the Picus complex, then jumped me from behind. A deadly fight ensued. I made sure she never moved silently again. With Fedorova down and no one left to keep Eliza quiet, she reappeared. Turns out Picus's first lady of news wasn't a lady at all. She was a sophisticated AI program, engineered to monitor data streams and control what people believed. Eliza told me the Mercs had brought in a humanity front doctor named Isaiah Sandoval to remove the scientist's implanted tracking devices while Detroit satellites were down. She also told me to speak to David Sarah if I wanted. By the time Malik and I got back to Detroit, tensions between normal and augmented citizens had reached a flashpoint. Riots were breaking out in several cities, and the UN was being urged to intervene. Seraph was trying hard to convince Hugh Darrow, the inventor turned philanthropist who'd once been a leading proponent of enhancement technologies, to help stop a possible regulatory vote. Seraph had a lot riding on Darrow. Megan's discovery would have given millions of people the chance to evolve beyond their normal human abilities, and at the same time, catapulted Seraph Industries to the top of the Fortune 500. According to Seraph, Megan's kidnappers knew this, 
and didn't want people evolving unless they controlled how it was done. He called his enemies Illuminati and urged me to keep searching. Determined to do so, I tracked down Sandoval via America's most outspoken augmentation opponent, Bill Taggart, Sandoval's boss and founder of Humanity Front. Sandoval admitted to operating on Megan's team when I confronted him, but said he hadn't removed their GPLs. He'd merely switched them to a different frequency. Pritchard was able to trace one of the signals to China. Malik and I immediately took off in pursuit. Unfortunately, the Illuminati were one step ahead. Ambushed. Shot out of the sky by Bell Tower Associates, seconds after entering Hinksha's airspace. Malik's piloting skills saved me. After a tense and bitter struggle, I escaped into Laura Hinksha. The tracking signal I was following led straight to the triads. Or more specifically, to the augmented arm of Tong Si Hung, leader of a gang of augmentation harvesters. Tong said they'd taken the arm off a corpse, which Bell Tower had left at their door. Meaning, at least one of Seraph's scientists was dead. Maybe not the rest of them, though. Tong pointed me to a port used for human trafficking and helped me slip aboard a Bell Tower ship. He was sailing to Rifleman Bank Station, a military base in the South China Sea. Bell Tower was holding kidnapped civilians as prisoners there and using them to perfect the Hyron Project, a human computer interface that left most of its test subjects dead. My search for Megan would have ended then, if not for a mysterious ally named Quinn. In exchange for my help exposing Bell Tower, he slipped me aboard a second ship headed to Singapore and an Illuminati-run biotech facility called Omega Ranch. Three of Seraph scientists were there, forced by their captors to create a technology capable of remotely shutting down augmented abilities. Thanks to an emergency recall notice issued by the World Health Organization, Millions of people all over the world already had the biochip installed. With the help of the scientists, I tracked Megan to a private section of the ranch. There, I ran into Yaron Namir, the walking tank who'd put a bullet in my brain the first time we met. He'd teamed up with Zhao and was hoping to catch me off guard. But their little ambush didn't work. I found Megan in a suite belonging to Hugh Darrow the billionaire philanthropist who Sarah had called on for help. Dara had convinced her to go along with the biochip plan by promising to sabotage the tech. As she was explaining this, Garrow appeared in a global broadcast, telling the world that augmentations would be the death of mankind. Then he activated the biochips to prove his point. All over the world, augmented people flew into a killing frenzy. Darrow had betrayed everyone and it was up to me to set things right. To do it, I had to reach Panchea, a massive installation in the Arctic Ocean. As I raced through corridors built by an all-augmented workforce, I saw death and destruction firsthand. By the time I shut down Dara's broadcast, I knew the damage he'd done. Still, humanity's future remained unclear. How would the world react to this sabotage? Would people ever regain their faith in augmentations again? What would be the Illuminati's next move? Only time to give us the answers. Heavy. That was very heavy. Now let the real games begin. I once thought I could save the world. Now look at it. In yet another augmented terror attack, 251 passengers aboard Sista Airlines Flight 451 were killed. When an augmented passenger broke into the plane's cockpit, and ruthlessly butchered its flight crew. Details recovered from the black box recorder 
suggest that the man may have been suffering flashbacks to the AUG incident. That horrible day two years ago when augmented people all over the world flew into a psychotic killing spree, causing the greatest loss of life in recent history. Sometimes, you just have to let go. And embrace what you've become. Not gonna go all wonky on us now, Hansa. Are ya? Well, if I do, McCready, I guarantee you'll never see it coming. Agent Jensen! Am I gonna have a problem with you? Yes. No, sir. No reason to assume you would. Good. Because you are the only augmented operative on this team. And I intend to make good use of you. Listen up, all of you. We got a sandstorm barreling down our ass, and we can't afford to make mistakes. We're going after this man, an arms dealer named Shepard. He's ex Bell Tower, one of the special forces commanders who disappeared during the incident. And he's come out of hiding. That cannot be good. It's not. He's selling weapons and military grade augments to terrorists. This is Iran Singh, the undercover agent who lured Shepard out of his hole. Best you see Interpol's got. But three years he's worked hard to get in tight with the Jin, an Iraqi smuggling cartel that's infected the Eastern Hemisphere like a plague. Last week, our arms dealer sent a message to the Jin, offering to sell them a shitload of black market merchandise dirt cheap. They told Singh to handle a buy. They're not gonna like it when Interpol disrupts that party. Sing's cover really that good? It is right now. We need to keep it that way. This is where the deal's going down. A half-finished high-rise hotel that's been abandoned ever since the incident. It's not a pretty picture inside. Let me guess. Most of the laborers were augmented with heavy-duty industrial rigs. So when the incident hit and they all went schizo, things got gruesome real fast. And no one, except for some homeless junkies, have been inside the place ever since. What's the plan, Director? Singh's meeting Shepard on the ground floor, inside the hotel's main atrium. He sent the bulk of his gin crew to the penthouse levels to secure a vantage point. I want McCready's team to take up positions overlooking the atrium and make the arrest. Jensen, you're going in solo from the roof. My objectives? Keep the gin from joining the party. As far as we can tell, only one route connects the atrium to the penthouse level, a halfway decent elevator shaft, here. I want you to block access to it. Fine. Just cut me loose. Do you plan on relying solely on your augments for this one? I'd recommend taking a little hardware. Just to be sure. Let's see. Whoa. Alright, so the plan for this game, like I suspect most people are probably playing this, is non-lethal. I mean, it's Deus Ex, that's always been the more rewarding option. We've got a UC in there. Might be easier to maintain his cover if he's not the only one still breathing when this is done. Smart thinking. Yeah, but if anything does happen to him, you'll be telling his wife. After you get out of the hospital, of course. What about range? There's lots of wide spaces and high ceilings in there, but a number of tight and constrained rooms too. So it's a crapshoot, really. Can I have both? Uh, stun gun versus trank rifle. If we follow tradition, the trank rifle will be rarer. Well, I'm not looking to play dice with anyone in there. Give me something with distance. Your call. Less chance of being seen and compromising seeing that way. One last thing, Jensen. Singh said that Jin are using some sort of portable Wi-Fi device to boost communications. He's got a better chance of maintaining cover if you disable it. I'll keep an eye out for it. But aren't we on the clock here? You said there's a sandstorm moving in. There is, and we got the intel on this mission at the very last minute. So we're scrambling a little. If it comes to it, your number one priority is keeping the Jin out of that atrium. Copy that. Time to put away your happy thoughts, gentlemen. We're approaching the target building. You're up first, Jensen. Let's do this. As you wish, sir. Task Force Action. This is Knife Leader. Engage Hush Drives and descend to Angels 1-5. It 
does kind of look like what I imagine Dubai will look like in 13 years. Peace out. We have landed. Yeah, they never bothered to clean this place up, did they? Alright, plus three Typhoon ammo. Team leader, this is Jensen. I'm on the roof. Solid copy. Move into the building. The access route you need to block is at the far end of the penthouses. And keep in mind, the direct route might not be the easiest one. Roger that. McCready will advise once his team is on the ground. Miller out. Okay, so E to pick up, left click to throw, control to crouch, uh, right click, okay, right click brings us in. Alright, other than that, I'm assuming they're going to tutorialize, so let's keep moving. It's good zoom. Corporate box, hold shift to sprint, very well. Control schemes, E to view. Let's see. Uh, yes, I know how to control, or how to change the controls. Thank you, game. Okay, it said I think hold Q to do something when I drop down. Good enough. Let's. Ooh, a bone saw? Or a handsaw? Interesting. Uh, let's. Can we rotate so it's blade forward? It does not appear to be. Okay. That's fine. Let's see. Mouse is a little sensitive. I'll tweak that between the episodes. Are any of these things openable? No. Control to crouch. All is well. Make sure there's no little secrets. Open that vent. Hunch that vent. Who cares about stealth? Am I right? I am I right? Okay. We have arrived, we have buckets, we have a light, and we have a ladder. Okay, search him. He has a pocket secretary. Jensen, we're moving through. Get back to you in a second. I was working on the fan system when we lost power. Stuck in here, but I think that means they can't get at me. They're killing everyone. They start screaming and attacking anything that moved. Where are you? If you can, make it up to the storage area on the roof. It's caged in. You should be safe there. Might even have some meds. Uh, 4801. Oh, fuck. What's wrong? The gin have got a few jennies up and running. Gonna have to hack keypads. You should enjoy it, McCready. They have colors and shapes. Just remember, the red game is bad. Fuck you. How, how rude. Okay, okay. Okay, it is toggle crouch. That's appreciated. And I can move these. That's good. What's over here? Uh, doesn't look like there's anything. Can we see any enemies? No. A lot of birds. Like, a lot of birds. Alright. I'll just uh, set you aside. Oh. And you, we chuck. Okay, that was fun. Alright. I have super strength. I will take it all. Thank you. Let's see. For inventory, it is tab. Okay, it's Resident Evil style. That's always good. Where are you? Biocell, made by Valik, is a portable version of the energy storage cells used to power augments. Uh, replenish energy. Okay, that's energy. What do we have here? This is Typhoon ammo. We'll probably never use it. I never use the Typhoon in any other game. Let's see what it says that it does. A pack of 10mm liquid crystal el elastomer, elastomer projectiles molded into a frangible diffusion matrix and spin stabilized for maximum range when deployed by the Typhoon Explosive Systems Augment. By default, the projectiles are lethal. 
Modification of the augmented firing system can alter your ammunition's liquid compound to deploy non-lethal gas rounds without the need to chat. Ooh. Okay, yes, I definitely want that. What do we have in here? We have parts. Okay, so if we pick up parts, we can make things. These are the main missions. Uh, we need to jam that signal boost. Keep that in mind. Let's see. This game will literally not let me zoom out any further than I currently am. Uh, seal off access to the atrium. Uh, what is this? Jump to mission. Huh, okay. Oh, that's for DLC. So for DLC, inventory screen, storage... Oh, do I actually... Oh. Oh, look at that. Crafting parts, credit chips, combat rifle, pistol, EMP ammo, Praxis kits. Okay, you know, we're going to look at all this stuff after the tutorial. I'm not sure how I feel about using it. It does appear that I have virtually every single augment already. I guess that's cool. I don't have any armor, but... All right. So, we have a lot of augments. Let's see, cardboard boxes, another saw. Uh, where do you want me to go? Oops, okay. Oh, wow, I jump well. I guess that makes a degree of sense. Okay. Squeeze on through here. I'm going to bring down my mouse sensitivity just a wee wee bit. Like, let's bring it down to, like, there. Okay, that's a little... Is there a motion blur? Sorry. Promise we won't be doing this, uh, too much. Uh, shadow quality high... Uh, motion blur off. Okay, that's better. That's far less sickening. Augmentation wheel... Leg silencers, that's my Typhoon, glass shield cloaking. Okay, so that's my invisibility, that's my l sound off. Okay. To equip smart vision. Boom. Okay, it's assigned. Oh, and then I press middle mouse button. Oh, I have, uh, I have detective vision from uh, Batman. Jensen is now Batman. Uh, nothing of note in there. Let's just turn that off for a quick moment. Start searching everybody. Sure, credit chips. Sounds good. Uh, okay, now that we search everybody, there is a door. I don't think I can access that. Alright, game, where do you want me to go? Oh, the wall's damaged. That's stealthy. That's super stealthy. Hop on in. Quick inventory. Let's have, uh, oh! Oh, it's at the bottom. Okay. Well, I definitely think we want... Okay, that's how we do that. Health can go on two. Gas grenade, are you non-lethal? Uh, yes. G for grenades, cool. And smoke grenades, interesting. We'll put... No, I don't want the smoke grenades. I want the gas grenades and then the smoke grenades is what I'm feeling. So we can... Oh, I just burned all my medigel. Oops. Okay, so we can overheal, apparently. Wish I had known that much. Hopefully we don't need that extra health. Damn it. Okay, um... Let's look at our smart vision. Okay, we got two enemies through that wall. Let's see. Where are they? They are through there. Sounds good. We have a breaker. Through the breaker. Activate this again. 
Uh, oh. Okay. So if I do that, it will make that all electrified. Can I lure them? I don't want to kill them, though. That's my concern. Let's use the smart vision again. Okay, so down there is where we're causing all of our damage. Um, okay, we're out. So let's get down low. Oh, we had to restore power to this keypad. I hadn't realized. Use module uh, to go through nodes. F is fortify. This is the I.O. port. Okay. Let's see the capture nodes. Noted. I am hitting C and nothing is being captured. Am I here? No. Do I go here? Okay. So I. S Trace program initiated. Okay, so it's down there. I am going here. Understood. Understood. And we will go ahead and capture that, and we are good to go. I almost panicked there. I'm not going to lie. Let's open you up. Let's check out where those two fellows are. Tutorial mode. Follow the green holograms to receive tutorial instructions for various game mechanics. Uh, experiment without any consequences. You can reset or exit at any time. Learn about moving from cover, cover swapping, rounding corners, vaulting over cover, and transi transi bleh, transitioning from cover to first person. Alright, we'll do the tutorial mode. Sounds like an idea. Alright, so we move to the hologram and we hit F. Alright, that puts us in third person. Alright. So wherever we look, and I hit space, he will auto-jump to. Interesting. Okay. Um, hold a movement key in the direction of the green hologram, press space to roll there. I did not roll. Interesting. I am mildly confused, but hold space. Alright, rounded the corner, and then we'll go over here. Let's see. Alright, aim at the next, and press space. Aim it, and let's see. I'm trying to figure out how it actually was supposed to roll, but it didn't really tell me. Aim at the next green hologram and press space to run out of cover and back into first person. Alright. Do you want to exit and reset? Um, I think we are good. Alright. So, we just got a few boxes. Let's swap over to Fancy View real quick. Doesn't seem to be anything else in this room. So, we hug up to the wall, and we do like so. We then aim for here. Press space to vault on over. And, okay, that just puts us into first person. Got it. So, if I want to go here... Nope, not what I wanted to do... Also not what I wanted to do, game. Thank you. Alright, we want to go there. So we're gonna... Okay, I should have been paying more, better attention is what we're learning right now. Alright. Okay, that was firing the gun. We don't want to do that again. If we just press space, we run over to that position. That's all we really want to do, game. That is it. Uh, can we get literally... Shoot. Let's get around this corner. And let's just uh, put you to bed. That killed him. That was not intended. Um, can we restart that? Let's um. Let's restart that. I thought it said Q. Didn't it say Q? Oh my. Oh my, my, my. No, 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 no. Let's, let's not be doing that again. We do that, and then we press space, and then we just go where we want to go. 
doesn't involve rolling. It doesn't need to involve rolling. I don't even know. I don't even know what the game was talking about. Okay. Okay, that was a vault. Not exactly what I meant. Okay. Oh, it's because I held it. Excuse me. Alright, let's just take all that ammo. Alright, so I held the Q button, and that was the problem last time. But I have his armor. Or his ammo, excuse me. Um, so we will just uh, continue on this away, methinks. No point in uh, upsetting the other fellow, is there? Can I have the axe or the hammer? No? Okay. Uh, okay, that box is nothing. That is, once again, just a throwable. Alright, let's go ahead and hop over here and see what the game tells us to do next. I don't think he's noticed that I actually, like, laid this guy out. Maybe he did, though. Maybe he's very upset about that. I can't really blame him. Okay, crouch. Very, very small. Okay. And here we have our first group of enemies. What is that yellow thing behind that wall? Well, you know what, folks? I think that's going to be it for this first episode. It's been a little bit of a learning experience. Oh my, well, they can look up. Good to know. Um, it has been a bit of a learning experience. We just learned that they can, in fact, look up. Alright, so let's just sneak back here real quick. I think that's going to be it. If you have enjoyed the first episode, please give some feedback in the comments. Otherwise, do please like the video. If you don't like the video, go ahead and press dislike. It's no harm to me. Otherwise, I have been the Alchemical Rabbit, and I will see you next time.